lovebirds are very popular pets that are native to Africa. Many people decide to adopt a lovebird, whether for their beautiful colors or for their happy and playful personality. As their name suggests, lovebirds are very friendly and loving birds who famously enjoy being surrounded by members of their own species and finding a partner to spend their life with as they are one of the most faithful animals to their mates. So with a little patience and affection, it is possible to get them to learn many tricks. So here are seven tips to train your lovebirds. Get the bird to trust you. The first step in training a lovebird is to actually get it to trust you. Make sure that the lovebird is comfortable being around you as its owner and that it isn't shy when you are around. Socializing with it from time to time can increase its level of trust. You can talk to it, play some music around it, or give it treats. The key here is to be gentle around it so that it will learn to trust you. Creates a favorable environment. In addition, it is essential that you create a favorable environment where the lovebirds feel comfortable that you speak to him in a pleasant voice and give him prizes when he has done well. Prepare a special treat as a reward for your bird. As you calm the bird, accustom it to your hand and teach it the step up command. It is important to reward the bird's accomplishments. Rewards such as sunflower seeds or millet. These treats should be reserved specifically for teaching your bird and be treats that the bird does not usually eat. Smaller, quickly edible rewards can be given to your bird to calm and encourage it as you teach the command. Saying soothing words and being generous in praise will calm and encourage your bird. Slowly and gently push your finger against the bird's lower chest. Right above his legs. Apply gentle pressure so that the bird is put slightly off balance. The bird should lift a leg when it feels off balance. When this occurs, place your finger under its foot and lift gently. The bird should step up onto your finger or hand. If the bird is nervous or bites, you may have to begin training with a wood dowel until it becomes more comfortable. A bird may use its beak to steady itself or even bite your finger or hand. If this occurs, do not suddenly pull away or show fear. As the bird may be frightened or read this as a sign of submission. Once the bird steps on your hand, gently lift it up and say up when you're lower the bird say down. Start with basic commands. Before you start training your love bird, it's important to understand that every bird is different and will learn at its own pace. With that in mind, start with the basics and build up from there. Start with simple commands like come or step up. When your bird is used to the training and can master these simple tasks, you can start working on more difficult commands. Encourage the bird to step up. Use the bird's name when you say step up and be generous with praise. Many birds, particularly if they are young, will step onto your finger with a little encouragement as a finger resembles a perch. When your bird steps up, praise it and give it a special treat you prepared before beginning. Even if the bird only raises one foot to your hand, you should praise and reward it. With repetition and encouragement, the bird will learn to associate the command step up with perching on your hand or arm. Be persistent but patient. Birds have unique temperaments and may be shy or nervous. And thus it is important to exercise patience as you train your bird every day. Make a routine of the training sessions. Your bird will learn to anticipate your training sessions together. Reward even small amounts of progress with praise and treats. Encouragement is the best way to make your bird comfortable and teach it to follow your commands.